I feel like a lizard. A yeah. <laughs> Guess how much a loaf of bread and a can of San Pelli orange cost me? LB, hello and welcome to Shame Station. What is your favourite part of a Sunday roast? Oh, the stuffing. Highly unorthodox. <laughs> okay, now for proper, those... The proper, like, council estate stuffing, the sage and onion from Paxo. Delicious. Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> the council, okay, so, um, I'm from a council estate. Me too, me too, council estate, here we go. There you go. <laughs> okay, so, um, to those who don't know, when you play shows, uh, after a certain while, you can request something called a rider, which is sort of like booze and food and stuff like that. What is the most essential thing you need on your rider? Yeah, Midget you, gems and what's it? <laughs> We've reaped the benefits of the of the Watsits being left over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then actual we were overrun with Branson pickle toasties. Cheese and Branson pickle toasties. Nice. Yeah. I, I I remember eating about seven of those. Uh, yeah. Toasties, yeah. Toasties, yeah. Toasties, yeah. Toasties, yeah. Five liters of Branson pickle. We're quite at that level yet. We always know Charlie's seen Mel when he's got a bag of Watsits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, there you go. Whenever, whenever he's got a slightly <laughs> orangey tinge to his mouth, or like a big, <laughs> big box of what's it? Yeah. Or whenever <laughs> he's trying to flog, when he's trying to flog what's it to people, that's how you know he's been to a Spice Girl. <laughs> yeah, Mel, Mel, I sold the box, the box of what's it I had. I sold it to the um to our practice, the studio where we practice, <laughs> for a quick tenner. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Why not? What is your least favorite state or city in America? Anywhere list you... me some states and list me some cities. Okay. Yeah. Well, if there's states. anywhere in America you've ever been where you're like, this is proper shit. There's nowhere that's crap that I've been in America, if I'm perfectly honest. Yeah. And I've traveled quite a lot in America. What is uh, what's the best gig you've ever done? For me, Madison Square Garden. You have a huge following, you lot. <laughs> not, not quite Madison Square Garden, yeah. Not quite Madison Square Garden's levels, no. But Spice Girls have been we'll going there. at it for longer. Also, don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What what brand of cigarettes do you smoke? <laughs> When I'm in England, I smoke Marlboro Old Gold. Classic choice. And then when I'm in the States, God, it feels like Par it's been that Parliament. long. It was only last year. Parliament Lights, yeah. Parliament, yes. yes. Good choice. Okay. Good choice. Good. okay, what's the first thing you're going to do when isolation finishes? Um, thing is, I'm quite a hermit, so I quite like not seeing many people. So I may stay in my own like lockdown for quite a bit longer. If you could have one last meal, Mel, what would it be? Because now you're in the room with proper Yorkshire pudding, proper gravy, sprout the whole everything, roasted parsnip, carrots, cauliflower, cheese, everything. Either that or either that or fish and chips with scraps and a butty. <laughs> oh, what? That's... London's too posh to sell scraps, but up here we have scraps, fish and chips and scraps, and mushy peas. <laughs> if that you were made, good. Mel, if you were Prime Minister of England or the UK, <clears throat> what would be your first yeah. law? Oh my God, that's a hard question. Um, I definitely look for the underdog, as in the charities that are completely not surviving, that are really important like for domestic abuse, child abuse, I would make those very, very valuable and important and make it, because it's a, it's a big epidemic, I'd make it um, a law where kids are more looked after, women in situations like that are more looked after and make it a priority. Probably the most sensible answer we've had to that question yet. You have my vote, Mel. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. That's good. All the other answers were just like legalised weed and shit like that, so...
You can just go to parts of America or Amsterdam for that. Yeah. And also, Mel, we've just so we recorded our um, second album. If you could name a shame album, what would it be? God, I would I wouldn't have a clue because well for a start, what is the premise of, of, of some of the songs? Like like what are you writing about? It's quite internal. Context. It's quite right. internal, which means like uh so is it Probably Mel all up down and everywhere. Up down and everywhere is quite a cool name. Oh there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sexual too, which is good. <laughs> That's why you play Madison Square Gardens. <laughs> okay, Melanie, I think we yeah. pretty much got everything that we could want. Thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, thank Please you, thank my you love. so me. much. Please send my love to you everyone you know and enjoy oh, the rest. I will. Enjoy the, uh, the stuffing and have a beautiful <laughs> day. That sounds so inappropriate. Enjoy the stuffing. Enjoy your stuffing. Oh, I will. <laughs> love you, baby. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.